Hey guys, it's Alesh and designing for AR. That's the topic for this video, which is actually a first of its kind because this is the first time I'm taking one of my projects and I'd like to talk about it more in detail. So for today, I have selected one of my side projects where I have recently explored AR for the first time and I would like to mention a couple of interesting things I have learned during this process. First of all, I would like to mention that I'm a big fan of learning by practice and this project is actually a great example because when I wanted to design something for AR for the first time, I uh, didn't really have a client at the time. So I came up with my own side project where I could just learn more about the technology, you know, test out some different concept, and then eventually learn something new I could reuse in the future. As a topic, I have selected skateboarding, which is something really close to me, um, and wanted to explore whether AR is something that can be applied in this field and how eventually it could look like in case you would have AR skateboarding concept. I wrote a little brief for myself where I have specified I'm gonna go with uh, iOS only, do a couple of screens, you know, don't go too fancy, and primarily focus on the AR features. That's what I wanted to learn the most. As uh, key features for the app or for the concept, I have selected being able to see interesting skate spots around me, you know, moving the AR view and then seeing something in the real world. Also maybe see some other skaters or friends, maybe some more information about the skate spots, have a map as an alternative to the AR view, and maybe even some monetization like challenges from skate brands. It's nice to have. Also some interesting thing where I wanted to maybe go for AR glasses as well, uh, but that was just like an optional thing I wanted to do in the end if I would have more time. After brief, I continued with uh, pretty much the same uh, process I use for any other project. So I first wanted to define what I'm gonna actually do. So I uh, specify the structure. So um, just a simple user flow where I have uh, mapped out all the screens that eventually will be needed in this experience. And as mentioned, I wanted to primarily focus on the AR view. So spend more time uh, focusing on this particular screen and some other related screens compared to some other screens which uh, could be skipped uh, at this time. After uh, the user flow, I continued with uh, low fidelity wireframes to you know, map out the structure of uh, the screen and the layout. So I had a couple of concepts for uh, the main view. The first one is pretty simple, just one menu button and the content. The middle one is uh, having more icons. So there is a you know, switch for the map, to, you know, switch between map and AR view. There's also a list view, maybe a plus button for adding some new spots into a map and also the menu button. And the third one is final, I believe, where I have the map switch a little bigger, I have a menu in the middle and filter as uh, you know some settings icon that can help you customize the view. I also made some other wireframes just in case I would like to design more screens. So there is like a map view in the left, in the middle, there is uh, the you know, skate spot detail and on the right we have the main navigation before actually jumping into design, I also wanted to do a quick test of the AR view, but uh, unfortunately there were not that many tools that could help me with that. So I had to improvise a little and use something that was available on the market at the time. I have used um, GoPro VR player, which allowed me to basically simulate a real AR uh, feature in a browser or in my, in my Mac app, move around and see how you know, spots could look like on, uh, in the AR view and also Origami Studio from Facebook where I was able to access my phone's camera, overlay some um, PNG layers, and just to simulate how eventually the layout could work uh, in real life. And then the main part I was looking forward to most, uh, the design, where I have first specified, you know, the style I'm gonna use, colors, fonts, some options for them, uh, then uh, some small details or style in general, which I eventually could be using for those screens. And in the end, I have designed these three main screens, which on the left, we have the main air view. In the middle, we have the uh, skate sport detail. And on the right, we have the main navigation. But for this video specifically, I would like to focus on the air view and mention three interesting things I have learned when designing these screens, which I believe are important and could be interesting for you as well. So first of all, when designing the screen, I wanted to balance you know, the content and actual view, because for example, having these bubbles too big or having too many of them, would cover the whole screen, so I needed to balance the, the right sizing. And to help me with that, I realized that maybe users would be able to filter or set up the distance in which they see the pins in the air view. So I have uh, included this little icon that would help you to select a distance and filter the closest spots or closest friends to you. So the screen would not be covered with too many bubbles and you would be able to see something through it, like uh, through a camera or something like that. Up next, we have this small bubble on the top right corner, which I um, found when I was testing the, the wireframes in the, in the GoPro VR player. And I've realized if you are looking through the AR view, 
there might be something that is not in the view currently. It can be behind you, next to you, etc. And I wanted to have a little indication for people to maybe move their phone around or just look around them uh, in general so they can maybe notice this. And I have included this little bubble to show, hey, there are two more things that you might be interested in. So give them a little hint that there is more than uh, what they see through the view at the moment. And as a third thing, which might not be obvious, but there's a one overlay layer over the view because I've realized, you know, when the background is too light, when you are just using inner daylight, let's say, um, and I have white uh, bubbles or, or components in general, they may be hard to see. So I wanted to have a little bit more contrast between the background and foreground. So these bubbles are easy to see and people can easily interact with them if they want to. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it was a short lesson, but definitely valuable. So I tested out the new thought process. I tested out new tools, including Framer, which I also considered uh, for the AR, but unfortunately it didn't have the features I uh, needed. It was my first hands-on experience in AR or with AR in uh, general. So next time I'm gonna do something else, uh, I definitely have some more information. And as a side quest, I helped to score a new client because later during the project, we had an interesting client coming in who was interested in AR in general. So I used the concept and did a similar presentation like this one. And they loved the concept and eventually ended up working with us. It is classified for now, so I cannot talk much about it. But in case I would show you some concept like this in the future, this is actually the client that we closed and uh, hope to show you some more what we worked on later. And I believe that's it. Feel free to check the video description for all the links, including Dribble and some previews that I have showed during the presentation and see you next time.